So one thing that we get a lot of um, questions from our customers on is the differences in functionality between Ops Genie and Jira Service Management, when you should use Ops Genie versus when you should use Jira Service Management, both kind of live in the incident management uh, space. So uh, the way that we kind of recommend parsing out the differences between the two tools is using Ops Genie for your alert management, alerts being something that um, comes in from an alert monitoring tool that might need your attention, but doesn't necessarily require an immediate response. And so we see in Ops Genie here, we have a number of different alerts feeding in from a number of different integrations that we have with Datadog, PagerDuty, applications like that. Um, and we see these alerts come in. And what I mean by, you know, might not require an immediate response, essentially these alerts are just going to come in uh, as we see incidents pop up from our other alert management tools. Uh, they're going to be routed to specific teams, are going to be assigned a priority based off of a number of criteria in the back end. Uh, and we can, you know, from these teams, acknowledge these issues um, and look into them, but not necessarily uh, do it in such an urgent manner versus a incident, on the other hand, is going to be something that actually wraps up into um, something that will require an immediate response. So think of, you know, in this case, orders are getting duplicated. Maybe we're getting a number of alerts from our alert monitoring tools that number of orders from our customers are getting duplicated. Uh, those alerts would then wrap up, uh, roll up into a larger incident that would then require a more immediate response. Essentially, um, an incident is something that more negatively impacts your organization and would require immediate attention. So we see a lot more functionality here around uh, the incidents, right? We see that summary, that description, um, our affected services, the impact and the urgency associated with that incident. Uh, and then we have a number of additional things that we can include here, right? So we can create subtasks and link issues, maybe loop in other teams that we need help with uh, in terms of closing out this incident. We can investigate this issue uh, using you know, an integration with our central code repository and see any deployments that might be impacting and causing this incident that have happened recently. Uh, once the incident's closed out, we can also add a post-incident review to actually take a look at you know, why this incident took place and get to the root cause. We also have the ability to mark this as a major incident if this requires uh, an urgent response. And we can spin up some things like conference calls to bring in our uh, crucial team members to kind of close out this incident, as well as chat channels utilizing Microsoft Teams or Slack or whatever a messaging tool that you use. So as we see here, uh, Jira Service Management is where we're going to uh, do a lot more of the incident management versus Ops Genie is where we're going to do all of that alert management that will, you know, ultimately multiple alerts might roll up into an incident. So that's kind of the workflow that we uh, recommend to our customers when doing alert event and incident management.